Hey guys, Squall here. I'm back with some more spin tires. Now you guys must have watched the first video. A lot of you asked for more, so here it is. We're still just ahead of release date in a couple of days time and already they've added another map, Volcano. Supposed to be the hardest one. Now, I've had a quick go of the river and I can tell you it's fun. You've got to <laughs> you have to find the right place on the river to cross. Uh, but today I'm going to try Volcano. I've never tried it. It's very very hard, I've been told. So, um it could go wrong, but hey, that's what spin size is about, eh? Okie doke. Um, right, so I appear to have four vehicles, which is interesting. And where are we on the map? Volcano, I assume, is in the middle. I'm hoping it's not going to erupt, but <laughs> you never know with this game. That'd be kind of cool if it did, to be honest, as long as it spit Volcano all over my truck. Um, right, what have we got? We've got four... Whoops, come back. Mouse, thank you. Four vehicle... Oh, sorry, four trucks up here. And I think I saw all four here. So there's none to discover. Loads of places cloaked. A lumber mill up here. Oh, wow. An objective up there. I can't see any garages. Which is interesting. So does that mean the whole point of this map is just to get lumber to the objective? I'm guessing... Maybe go that way to the lumber yard. Can you go that way to the objective? What is all this for, if that's the case? I don't know. Um, let me think. Should I scout in the vehicle? I should just get straight to it. Let's get the turn the engine off. Let's change the truck. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go with this one. That's got medium log attachment on it. That'll do. God, I never get bored of hearing that. <laughs> it's so good. Right then, um, we're heading straight on down the road. All-wheel drive turned on, parking brake is off. Let's just see. Wow, it's misty. Holy cow, it's misty. I don't know where that goes, actually. That's going the wrong way, I think. Let's go this way. Let's see how far we can get with this thing. With a bit of diff lock, it might help. See how far we can get with this thing. Uh, let's see if we can get to the lumber mill. Rather than just try and scout it. Hopefully do it in some daylight. Right. Now, let's tr I've received some hints and tips, as I always do from you guys. I actually got some hints and tips from a guy who actually does rough roading for real, which is really cool. He's giving me some advice about don't go straight up slopes, go up sideways up slopes, and... Um, of course, my deliberate mistake on the last video at 32 minutes when I forgot to put the diff lock on. A uh, few, few, few people noticed that one. So thanks for the comments. I do like to leave little pearls of, um, uh, of wisdom in my videos just for you to spot. They're not really cock-ups. I actually do it on purpose. Yeah. And uh, right, okay, I'm going to go dive the over this mud. I'm going to try and get to that dry stuff on here on the left. And then maybe is going to drop actually I'm going to oh sorry let's just go flat out through the mud let's keep momentum up we haven't got any trees to, to um, rescue us anyway so let's just do this full on diff lock on <laughs> wheel drive come on come on these old Russian trucks right here we go I'm going to go slightly diagonally now is that You've really got to be worried in this game of rocks. Now, rocks are the bane of this this game, as far as I'm concerned. They're almost the same colour as mud, and they will utterly screw you up. Not only do they damage you, they also tend to have a, you know, beach the vehicle, especially the UAZ, or the Land Rover, as I like to call it. They will beach that vehicle no problem. Something with this wheels this size should be okay. Uh, I'm going to check where I am as soon as I get on that flat bit there. God, I love the physics in this game, though. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right. Let's put the parking brake on one second. Um, okay. So it's more or less north. Well, I say north. But look at the compass. That's actually east. That's interesting. So, in fact, that is north. If we were looking at this map properly. Let's do that. Let's look at the map properly so that north is really north. 
I'm heading east. And there's water there, so I need to be very, very careful. Very careful indeed. If this goes in there, I don't think much is going to pull it out, if I'm honest. Let's just try and keep to the right of this slope. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there's rocks. See? Look at the rocks. They're the same colour. Come on, son. Get through. Yeah, that's good. Now, if we can cut across diagonally here... Um, I was expecting worse things out of that water. Ah, right, hang on a sec. There's a very, very big puddle of water up ahead. Actually, there's a road? Is that a road on the map? That definitely looks like a road to me. Which, according to this, is just over there. Should I plough through there? You know what? I think I should. Worst case scenario, I use the winch with all these trees around. Oh, hang on a minute. Where is this going? At this point, I'd get out of my truck and look, but I... Oh, I can't, because the camera won't let me look forward. That is a steep drop, and I can't see a road over there. Unless the road only begins on the right, possibly. But that, if I went down that, I'm pretty certain. See, I really want to... I want to come out of the camera now. I want to take a look over the top of that truck and down. I want to see where this is going. I can't. I don't have a cockpit view. And want to try and go around the front of the truck. See, this is... It's the only view I can get. Don't really want to go through those rocks or water, if I'm honest. Let's go this way. This could end badly. Gonna take my time. That tree's gonna hit me. Get away, get away, get away. <laughs> that would have killed my momentum. Oh dear. And the trailer almost got snagged. So we're we actually on the road now. No, we're not. So this isn't the road. Okay. It must be over. Whoa. Oh, look at that tire. So it was squashed. That's so cool. This is the road. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently this is the road. I suppose it... Let's take the diff lock off and floor it. I suppose it is not very muddy, which counts as a road in this world. There's the water on the right. I'm looking for a... I follow it to the right. I just can't quite see because of all those cloaked areas. I wonder if my UAZ could make it down here. I'm not convinced it could. The UAZ is a great scouting vehicle, but the biggest problem is it gets stuck a lot. Where do I want to go? About to get very muddy here. I need to go to the right, apparently. Looking at this map, I have missed a turn off somewhere along the line. Which is interesting. Oh god, I hate reversing this thing with this trailer. It's just bad news. No, 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 don't you dare! Oh, what a recovery! What a recovery! I steered into the turn and managed to accelerate my way out of trouble. Oh my god, that was close. I tell you, if this thing tips over, I really am screwed because the engine will stop. And without any power, I can't use the crane, and I don't think I can use the winch either. And so I will need another vehicle to come and rescue me. Oh no, six damage. Right. This thing has the turning circle of a cruise ship. It is horrendous. Now, where am I going? I need to be going over here, I think. Look, it just doesn't turn. It really doesn't turn. Is this really a road? This is unbelievable. Behind those trees. Behind those trees, it's saying. If only I could see better. I don't like this one bit. I'm going to floor it up here. Probably get stuck on something. There we go. I'm stuck straight away. I don't know what on. Oh, a little spruce tree. 
spoiled by a spruce tree. How much does this thing weigh? It must weigh like 30 tons and it can't knock over a little tree. Let's see if we can fathom a way through the foliage. This is probably not the approved route, but um, let's just stop it. Where am I going? Oh my god, I'm off course so badly. I need to go left. Knock over a few trees. Just keep left, keep left, keep left, keep... Come on, turn. There we go, this is better. This is better. Uh, I don't want to go right, do I? Because that goes to nasty black. I need to go left. This way. I'm trying to follow what the sketchy drones... It's like one of those old maps from uh, your adventure days, you know, like your AD and D adventure days. And you get these really naff maps and you have to interpret things a bit, but oh god, I'm gonna tip, I'm gonna tip, I'm gonna tip. No! <sighs> oh, I made it, I think. Let's plow through this mud. At an angle. Let's get some right tyres on the grip there, that's fine. It should be here, there we go. Logs. Yay! I made it to the lumber mill. But I've got to admit, I don't feel like I went a particularly easy route at all. And I left the diff lock on for the whole exercise, which I'm not sure was the best thing. Right. Let's turn this thing around because it really doesn't like turning. And with logs, it won't turn. Pretty much. There we go. Go on, stay straight. That's it. That's it. Go on, stay straight long enough for me to get into that box, and then it should be all right now. There we go. I think that's done it. Straighten it up. There we go. Right. Phew. Now, according to this, there is a way out of here that way, which will head into the great unknown of the north. Let's see if we can load that up. So this thing's going to weigh the size of Jupiter, and <laughs> this is not going to be easy. And that's just four points worth. Let's do this. Without even knowing where this goes, we're going to head this way. Let's face it, if I go the wrong way, I'm not ever turning around. Oh, you can feel the weight so much. See, right, look at this now, you see? This is a perfect example of the camera making it harder. I need to see where I'm going. I need to be at the front of this truck right now, and I can't get to the front. That's about the best I can get. So I need to keep left, basically. What was that? Why don't you just feel like a piece fell off my truck? Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to floor it and... Get round here, this is a nasty turn. Good grief. Who built this lumber yard here? This is insane. Uh, I'm gonna keep right. I think that's the right way. I'm gonna go over there. Can't afford to look at the map right now, so I'm just gonna use my rough direction sense. Can't get up there. <laughs> hmm. Does that even feel like the right way? Maybe I should have done a bit more scouting. Can this thing pull through that, do you think? Only one way to find out, I guess. Of course, chances of me tipping this thing over are very, very high. Oh dear. That boulder has messed things up, I think. Uh-oh. What is it stuck on? Is it stuck on a boulder? Hmm. Let's try this way. No, they weren't kidding about this map being difficult. And I'm now pretty much heading back towards the lumberyard. <laughs> Which is fantastic progress. Which leads me to believe I'm taking the logs out of the wrong 
direction completely. No way can this get up here. Good grief. Look at that. He just feels like it's... Come on, son. Come on. Come on. Yo! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's actually gone up that hill. Look at that. Wow. I'm impressed. Right, now we're up here. Which way do we go now? There's one thing you can guarantee on this map, there's always a tree in the way. <laughs> Look at those logs just balancing, just going, go on, just a bit more and we'll have you over. This is the longest three point turn. It's like a 15 point turn. We're just going to have to follow it through. I can't see how else we can do this. Oh! Right, let's try going that way then. No, that's, that's a bad idea, isn't it? That is a bad idea. Back in Boulder land. I'm just flowing it through here, seeing if I can get up this hill. Come on! My god, I can't believe this thing. Right, there's the sea. Which is, um... Well, maybe I should go down to the beach, actually. What if I get down there and I could just drive along the beach for a while? That'd be kind of cool. Right, we're going to the beach, guys. Right, okay. Whoa, I can see what I'm doing. Oh, God, stop, stop. It's always a bonus being able to see where you're going. I wonder how deep that water is. Because you can probably... You can probably travel in, in it a little bit, I would hope. Like that. So we're just, you know... Look at that water effect, it's fantastic. That gets deep quickly. Oh man, is this thing amphibious? Maybe it's amphibious. Let's just keep going. Oh, that went better than I ever expected it to go. I've got to admit, I thought that was game over right there. Okay, we're on the other side. Which way should we go now? I like the beach. The beach doesn't have trees all over it like it. And mud. Maybe I should just go like the whole route around the beach. Can I go that way? I appear to be stuck and I don't think my winch is going to work from there. Oh, it will work. That's cool. That'll help a little bit. Ooh, right, if I can go this way and miss that tree. I don't think I can miss that tree. Nope. Blimey, it is challenging delivering four points on this map. I've got to say that much. Okay, let's see where this goes. Now, do we think we can get over there? That's the next question. Because that feels like the shortest route. But it could also be... Too deep. I mean, judging by this drop, actually. Yeah, I think that's too deep. The thing is, you never know, that's the thing. What you actually need right now is a little scout vehicle. So there's the... Um, over the road there would unlock this entire segment of cloak. So I'd really like to get to it. But I genuinely think that oh, I'd get stuck if I go in there. Just something about it makes me think it's quite deep water. But I really want to, it's so tempting. I want to get the prize. 
Is there a way that I can test? Can I dip my toe in the water? Am I committed? I might be committed. No, I can still get out. No, that that's not... That's not um, shallow. That's not shallow. Hmm. That's the total... That's going to bury me, basically. I'm going to have to go round. That's really annoying. This game needs amphibious vehicles. Because that would be quite fun. What you need is some really good scouting vehicles. Alright, well, let's see if we can go... If we can't go that way, then. Let's see if we can go this way. Three. I wonder... I probably could. Right now I'm not needing it, so we'll see how far we can go. I can't believe this thing's still pulling up here. That's incredible. So my big problem is I'm almost out of fuel. I really don't think I've got enough fuel to get to the objective anyway. Which means I'm going to need that fuel truck. Oh, this is a sarcastic drop. Oh, my God. I'm just going to go down here and, and hope this thing doesn't flip. Oh! <laughs> I'm getting away with murder here. Right, so that's about as far as I've got so far. It feels like I've done an awful lot of work. This is the way I came in, isn't it? Because I remember turning around over here. Just look at that. Wow, what was that? It's all that stuff coming off that plant. Am I going to get high on that? Right, time for an adventure. We're just going to go this way and see what happens. But this thing's going to run out of fuel, then I have to get the fuel truck over here. Refuel this bad boy and get going again. I genuinely think the UAZ is going to get stuck completely on this map. I can't... I just can't see it getting very far, to be honest. Down there, I think, is the cloaking thing, but I'm just going to keep flat out over here. Keep momentum and try and get onto this level bit. Then decide where the hell we are. Parking break on one second. See, although although it's a straight line to here, obviously we've got to come this way. I really need to unlock these two two cloaks. You know they are a hell of a problem. It can also do with getting the fuel thing over here. For now, I'm just going to continue down here as far as I can safely go I think might as well but I think I'm going to have to switch vehicle short because fuel's now gone red let's follow it around this way you know what a fuel truck is if the fuel truck's run the fuel truck runs out of fuel on its way or on its way back. It's not good, is it? Right, um... Where are we? There's actually a cloak over here somewhere. Just to the left, apparently. Of course, I shouldn't really go looking for cloaks in this thing, should I? But it is just ahead in those trees. I think... change truck let's go back to one of the ones at the base um, oh did I just hear a, um, a howling wolf or something right what's this installed here utility repair attachment Hear a wolf. That's so creepy. 
Right, let's change truck and get rid of the utility. Garage, 800 per points. Hmm. Assistant unavailable. Is that because I need... I need the tractor unit to do that, I think. 4,000 litres of fuel. <laughs> I tell you, I'm not convinced that this thing can get over to that truck, but let's listen to the engine. Look at the size of this thing. How the hell am I going to get this over there? Okay, well, let's try and follow the same route. Well, not quite the same route. Just not turn off for the lumber yard is what I mean. See if we can get this thing over there and refuel that, that lumber truck. And if we can, I might just detach the trailer and use it as a scout vehicle. I went straight over here, didn't I? What that says on the side of the tanker? I wonder if it says something like petroleum in Russian. It's the same basic truck as the other one we've got, so the handling is the same. I would assume the weight of this thing is on a par with the weight of those logs, maybe a bit more. So far it's doing okay. Come on. Just keep the momentum going, that's the main thing. That is the main thing. But also I need to want to get the flat bit like that, just make sure I'm going in the right direction. Which right now I would love to be able to see that map. I bet there's a a nicer way to get there. I've also heard that the um, you can use the PS4 control of this if you get the... You know I use a program called DS3? Well there's one called DS4, which is for the PS4 controller. Not tried it myself, but don't forget you need to put it in the Xbox compatibility mode. You can of course use an Xbox controller, and I think Microsoft have released some software so you can use an Xbox One controller on your PC now. So all options are open to you. If you've got a controller in the house, then uh, it does make it easier. I'm just using keyboard and mouse. Seriously, would you sit in this truck with 4,000 litres of fuel behind you and go side on with, with water on the inside of you like this? Hell no! The balls of steel! I'm just trying to use the outer edge of the hill so I don't get too quagmired in mud. Right, so that way's the lumber yard. And I think I should be able to follow it around. This is the turn the diff lock off. This was the road. So we'll just keep on the road. Kind of follow it there. I guess map knowledge is a big thing in this game. Again, so once you've played it a little while and you get used to the map, you can learn where not to go and where to go without even looking. Yeah, this is the way I went. And then I believe I took a right on turn. Particularly difficult right on turn. Can't wait to play this game with all the other mods that they've made for spin tires. Just like, it's going to be amazing. Some of the stuff that you're able to do. Imagine this game in six months time. Imagine where it'll be. With all the mods and all the stuff they're going to add. It'll just be insane. There it is! Yay! We made it guys. We made it back to the log truck. Fuel both vehicles now. I've got enough fuel for both, and then I can go and scout with this thing. We could try and find the unlock behind us. Yay! Look at that. Fantastic. Parking brake on. Right, actions, fuel system. Let's refuel that. 
Oh God. Cistern trailer is empty. <laughs> what? Oh my God, it doesn't come with fuel. What? Are you actually kidding me? I don't even know where the fuel depot is. Oh, that is just unbelievable. Everything I've just been through to get this cistern to this truck so I can refuel both vehicles. I get here only to find this thing doesn't have any fuel in it. Tragedy, just like the song. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to have to do. Oh, that's a nice parked trailer, I like that. I'm going to have to detach the trailer. That's not very friendly. There you go. I have to detach the trailer. Do some scouting and hope that there's a fuel depot on this side of the island. The volcano island. Use this as a scout. Let me get to that one first. I don't believe it. I do not believe that. <laughs> when it dropped this, when it dropped the trailer on the vehicle, and it went 4,000 liters. I thought it meant you know 4,000 liters of fuel. What it meant was 4,000 liter capacity. Well, that helped helped a little bit. gonna go this way because I can see there's a bit of a road over that way just to the left over there is the road I can see it getting to it of course is a different story Tell you what, the sunshine is nice, isn't it? Hazy sunshine. Right, let's get on this thing. Let's do a spot of adventuring. Now there's another cloak down here. What I really want is a fuel depot. Now then, that's gonna go left. I think the, um, I think the cloak I might actually be on top of that hill on the right. It's gonna be up there, isn't it? How the hell do you even get up there? Hello, what's this? Is that a fuel depot? Do you know what it might be? It is! It is a fuel depot! Oh my god! And the cloak is like... I can't even look up there with the camera. I can't look up, it's so annoying. Right, right so... Cut a long story short. I just found the fuel depot. But I need to bring my trailer here now. I reckon the log truck could make it here as well and then I could refuel both of them. Looks like I'm gonna have to drive the whole thing backwards. <laughs> left is right and right is left. Actually, in some respects, it kind of stirs a bit easier. Looks like you have to get possibly right underneath it. Oh, come on, dude. There we go. Alright, let's have a get this thing over to the fuel station. Come on. Can we go through that way, actually? Yeah, this is the way we came through in the... Um, and I didn't have the trailer. Let's just hope I don't tip it. I need to get left onto the main road if I can. 
And the little tree's gonna do me over! <laughs> Look, I crushed it! He just snapped back, it's like, no! It's like Gandalf. Thou shalt not pass! This is where I want to be. Awesome! Let's go and fill this bad boy up with some fuel. I actually thought this thing was quite heavy. Nah. It's about to get a whole lot heavier. Yay! The fuel station. Wow, those brakes are good. I tapped the brake coming down there then. If only I could get a reasonable camera angle. Right. So... Fuel 300 and... <coughs> right, hang on. How do we do this? 500 litres. How do we fill this thing up? System trailer is empty. Yes, I know. How do we fill the system trailer? That is the question, having never done this before. Do we have to detach the trailer and then it fills up, maybe? Wow, I just drove that with the parking legs down! <laughs> Unbelievable! Right. Repair tractor. Cool. This thing's carrying around 200 repair points with it. Um. I know the system's trailer is empty. I want to fill the system trailer. How do we do that? Okay, well, let's just try... I'll put the legs down here. Let's just try detaching it to see if that fills it up at all. It really hasn't. Hmm. Well, this is confusing. Okay, while I ponder that, I think I'm going to bring the log truck over here. Cheers, that one. He's very low on fuel. I think he's got enough fuel to get low. I hope he has. gets one shot at this, because right now I don't know how to refuel the um, system. The night's falling. Winter's coming. Oh, 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 don't you dare tip. Don't you dare. Seriously. Not after what I've been through to get you here. And camera, for the love of God. Can we please have a decent view? Really came close then to just tipping over. Snapping cables on the trailer <laughs> is never a good sign. If I can get on the straight bit here, I can turn the diff lock off and save a little bit of fuel. I have 49 litres of fuel left. And the fuel station is round the corner. I actually don't think I'm going to do it. I'll be honest with you, I, I really don't think I'm going to do it. I need to get diff lock off, but right now it's just too muddy. There we go, let's try it now. Right, let's turn it. 36 litres. I actually think we might be okay. Oh my god, it's so close though. Get flop back on. I could roll down to the fuel station if we can get over the top. Come on, son. Wow. With 25 litres of fuel left, I get to the fuel station. Outrageous. Can I get inside that box and get a refill? Yay! Woohoo! Can I actually... Re Can I, um... Ooh, crane grab. Push anchors, crane, detached trailer, right. Let me just stop the engine on this one. Change to that truck. And tell it to repair. 
Oh, that one's... Not that one. That one over there. Yes, that one. May as well use the 27 repair points that this truck has. On that one. Because the other one was broken. Oh, the camera. Good God. It's like Car Mechanic Simulator's camera. You know when it kind of <laughs> snaps around? Look at it. Let me look at my trucks. Truck automatic refuel. No add-ons with fuel capacity installed. That's true. But this one does. So why is this one not getting... Ah! Now it's doing it! Oh my god! This option didn't come up before! That's... What? Okay. Oh, that's so cool. You can pick how much fuel you want. Did you see that sink then? Oh my god, look. It actually puts weight on the trailer to the point that it just sinks it. Right, now we have fuel. So much fuel that it's ridiculous. And I am, if you have a look where I am, pretty close to the objective. So I'm going to have to leave it there. In the next video, I think I'm going to take just the front part of the fuel truck and go and get that uncloak there and then work out how to get to the objective and deliver these logs. But for this video, I think we've burned all our time. I hope you like Spin Tires. Please give me a rating, a thumbs up if you do. Leave me your comments. Don't forget the game is out very, very shortly. Maybe by the time you watch this video, it'll be the next day. What a great game. Can't wait to have more fun with it. Take care, guys, and happy trucking.